we can find the way to vaccinate, then we can forget everything else, and then we'll all be united. The enemy is TB. The enemy is not farmers. The enemy is not badges. The enemy is TB. Hello and welcome to Views. Now today we're talking about a disease, bovine tuberculosis, that has badly hit cattle farms in the UK, particularly in the southwest. Now one of the measures that the UK government has taken has been to authorise uh, culls of badgers in hotspot areas. Now why? Well, the government claims that by uh, addressing this disease in wildlife, it claims that this is one of the ways in which it can prevent uh, the, d the disease in the cattle population. Now here with me to discuss this is Brian May, best known as guitarist in the rock band of Queen, but now campaigning on this issue, to, particularly to stop the cull. Now the government says that it can't tackle this disease unless, no matter how many biosecurity measures and so on it does within farms and testing and so on, it can't tackle the disease unless it also looks at the wildlife. It's a very convincing piece of argument, isn't it? You know, their argument is that the, this is always the case in every country where there's been bovine TB. It's never been conquered except by addressing it in the wildlife <coughs> reservoir, as they call it. But the truth of the matter is that bovine TB has not been con conquered even by dealing with it in this so-called reservoir. The only significant advances that have been made in the control of bovine TB have been when cattle movement was severely restricted, which is something we haven't yet done in Britain. And I think it's generally accepted that really the, the major cause, probably 85% of the spread of the disease, is cow to cow. There is a contributory factor in the badger, but the badger, you could slaughter every badger in Britain and you would still have bovine TB in cows. So this is a blind alley. And the science that has been done, you know, this is not speculation. The ISG, the Independent Scientific Group, did a 10 year study which cost the taxpayer 50 million pounds. They slaughtered 11,000 badgers in this test. And the conclusion at the end of it was, from John Bourne, um, culling badgers can make no meaningful contribution to the control of bovine TB in cows. This is very unequivocal. This is what the government is ignoring. Actually worse, they're quoting it as a reason for culling. And Lord Krebs, who instigated the, the, the report in the first place, the whole experiment, has called the government crazy for, for going ahead with it. One of the issues is vaccination. Mm -hmm. and well, it's the big issue. Th th vaccination this, is the whole issue. Th this really. would be seen as a solution to both sides. But Absolutely. of course, there are, there are major problems with vaccination, yep. partly because of the complicated nature of the disease itself, mm -hmm. and that it's not currently permitted in the EU, partly because it, uh, it interferes with the test for infection That's right. uh, among the cattle, so therefore mm. it's not used. Now that is about to change. We now have the DIVA test, which has been proven. It only needs to be licensed, and that could happen by the end of the year. So that argument is no longer an obstacle for vaccinating cows. That's why I'm here, to see if we can fast track the, the licensing of vaccinating cows in Britain. Well, no, well, we're in the EU, it's always a complicated uh, yep. procedure to change mm -hmm. EU rules, which mm -hmm. does take normally several years. Yeah, so that will, be, that will be a difficult procedure. We're here to itself. try and change that. And it's an optimistic view, you know, but what we're hoping is we can find a way of fast tracking this little piece of, of legislation. Obviously, we can't change the whole laws. We can't rewrite the laws on vaccination in Europe. But what we can hope is that an exception can be made for this particular case because it's urgent. We need this permission very quickly. Mm -hmm. But if this takes several years, then obviously there's a void of, of action. Yeah, there is a void. But, you know, culling does not solve the problem. It, it's all the experts, if you look at all the, the, the people who were in, in DEF for a while ago, you know, plus Chris Cheeseman, plus the people who did the ISG report, um, they're all saying, you might get a 15% improvement, you might make things worse. Now, what a terrible risk to take. You know, you're killing thousands of, of British wild animals for something which may not even produce a, a positive effect. You may make things worse. Now, this is a terrible thing. This is not giving you a quick fix, I'm sorry. It's worth pointing out also the opposite argument that you could in reinforce biosecurity measures, you could uh, mm. increase the testing as much as you like, mm. but if there's still that risk of transfer from badger to cattle, it can also come back the other way, so that it does but work. But the science doesn't agree with you saying that. The science does not say that, you know, the science says that basically culling does not meaningfully contribute to the control. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, this, this, is, this is the only science there is, and it's, I think, you know, the government ignores it at its peril. I think this is a danger vilifying farmers well, who... Well, it's a danger that farmers don't want to... This why is would their livelihoods and yes, for many 
many of them this is you know, yes it is like. a danger yeah and in fact the, the, the NFU is leading farmers into a very different a very dangerous situation you know a situation where they're doing something which is probably not going to help them technically mainly probably not going to save them money and also it's going to get them viewed in a very bad light by the British public I don't want to see that I don't want to see that. This is not what I'm about. And I've spent the last year and a half talking with farmers and trying to find the common ground. This is the common ground. If we can find the way to vaccinate, then we can forget everything else. And then we'll all be united. The enemy is TB. The enemy is not farmers. The enemy is not badgers. The enemy is TB. Well, thank you very much, I guess, Brian May. And thank you mm. for watching the